Um, today I'd like to go over some of the basic uh, functionality in PixMem, how we can create a mem. Uh, when you first open the site, you come to the opening page with some basic introduction. Uh, in order to get started, click on Make a Mem. And that'll take you to the basic default um, two-panel image. Um, we can change this easily by going to our presets. We see two horizontal. We can make that three horizontal um, and so on. A lot of different options here. Because of the size of my video here, I won't go into all of these because it just takes up too much room. Um, but for example, I could go with a 2x2 two two square and have different panels. Um, I can also change the size of my borders here. Right now they're narrow. I could go with a outline or I could go with a really thick border if I wanted. Um, I can also drop in where captions would go and also title. Doesn't leave much room for my images, but that's the basic idea. Um, I want to point out that any changes you can make here with the presets, you can also do this just as easily with the, um, the properties below. So let's just go and do that. Um, I'll just reload the page, reset the basic image, and let's just make a simple um, item here. Let's change the height a little bit. Um, just go through some options. You can see as we change the canvas size here, we're just changing our the size of the image. Um, we can change the number of rows and columns right here very easily. Uh, you know. So let's just go with a 2 by 2 and let's make it a little higher, kind of flat. Okay. Um, yeah, it's still kind of high. Squash it down. So let's say we want to have some room here for some captions. So I come along here to my bottom border here and I'll change this from 20 to 40. And if I want to have some horizontal space here, I go to my gutter and I change this to 40 as well. If I wanted to change the other borders, I can do that individually by changing these items here. Um, I'm happy the way those are. And also, if we wanted to, I could come in and change the background colors to my frames and also the inside. Now the inside is usually filled with pictures but just in case if I wanted to I could. Um, let's set these back the way they were. Okay. Like, let me make this a little bit. It's taking up a lot of room here. Let me shrink these down a little bit. Give us some more room for our picture. So we have a lot of, we can customize our frames as much as we want. Next let's go to images. Now since we've set up 
a four panel image. Then we have um, four panels, four images that we can paste into our frames. So there's two ways we can do that. We can get images off of our disk or we can paste them in off the internet. So let's go do that. Let's go grab an image off of our disk like this funny looking owl right here. And as soon as we do that, we see he comes right in. Uh, we can drag him around. And we can make changes to the image one of two ways. Uh, once we paste an image in, we now have controls that we can um, work with. We can make the image bigger. Uh, we can rotate it. We can flip it uh, vertically and horizontally. And we can do also what is uh, called move to front, which is not important now, but um, a lot of time when you have a lot of uh, images and text and sometimes things layer on top of each other and you can't get a hold of something, you come and you go move to front and then, then you can grab the image and, and get access to it. You also can reset the image to the way it was when you came in which is what we're going to do right now. You also can um, change your image according to these uh, handles. I don't know if you can see them, but there are handles and you can grab these and pull and change the size of your image like that. There's also the ability to, um, to rotate your image using this upper handle right there. You can see that. So that's all great. Um, put it back the way it was. Let's just make it a little bit bigger. And when you're done with your image, it's a good idea to hit the lock button. And that way um, you don't accidentally move it around anymore. So let's go quickly add some more images. Um, let's go get an image off the internet. Let's just hit tab. Let's look up something randomly. Let's go get an image. Uh, there's a good one. So what you do here is you right click typically and you copy an image address. Once you do that, you can come over, drop it in, paste, and hit save. So it's going to put that image right there and resize it. Um, we also have a bunch of images that we've been collecting. Over the years, you can just go grab one of these. Typically, you can just grab that image, drag it right in, and it's going to paste in the uh, URL. Sometimes it doesn't work, depending on the browser. So then what you do is right-click, copy image address, and paste it. Let's grab one more. Put that right there. Okay. So that's the basic idea with images. Um, next we go to text and in our text area very much like the images we have predefined um, four separate captions one corresponding to each panel. We also have a title and we can click that off if we want. We really didn't leave ourselves any room so the title just kind of 
goes like that. Let's not use a title right now. Let's go to captions um, and turn those on and you can see by default they just show up right underneath the image. And we can go and change the default text by clicking on the text. Double click and you'll see that our cursor changes to an eye bar. Now we can go in and change it. Do whatever. Okay. So we can also make changes to our text um, in one of two ways. We can make changes to the, all the text at once using text defaults. And so by using these controls up here, we can change all the text. We can change bold, italics, um, alignment. We can also change the font itself. Um, we can also make the text bigger. Um, we can change the color. And we can also change uh, stroke, which is like an outline and shadow, which I'll go over in a future video. Um, we can also, if we want, make changes to each text individually. For example, let's say I want to make this one caption different than all the others. I can come in and hit this item called uh, Toggle Custom. Once I do that, now um, only this caption responds to these controls. So I can change the font to be something completely different. Um, we'll change the color. You get the idea. Just make it completely different. So there you go. Um, incidentally, text um, is different than the image. It's not really sitting behind the frame. You can actually drag it anywhere you want. And it also has a handle uh, for rotation up here. It has a handle for rotation and also for width. So if you wanted to do something like that, you could, it won't fit, but you could do it. Do something silly. Okay, so once you're done, you come along and you hit make it. And when you do that, your image is made and ready for you to save. So you come along and hit save image as and you can use your image however you want. So thanks for watching and uh, any questions please respond to the video and feel free to drop us any suggestions off the, uh, the website. Thanks for watching.